Hi, this is Ed Butowski. It's June 12th, 2020. So this book that you're looking at the cover is the second best investment book I've ever read. What's first? Mine, uh, called Wealth Mismanagement. But the reason I want to bring your attention to the IV portfolio is that in our industry, it is widely accepted that the some of the best minds on Wall Street work at the endowments for investing the money for these universities. And Maybeane put together a book that goes through how that works and how they structure their portfolios. And what we did recently, a lady in my office named Kristen, is we went and took the recent allocations of the top 30 endowments and put together just to see what they look like right now and how they're allocated. Uh, for those of you who have been listening to my videos over and over, you know that very recently I was talking about how how important it was to reduce your equity exposure because the market's overvalued and how important it is to get your investment portfolio looking more like uh, you know, what I want to say is you know, having alternatives in those portfolios. Uh, so as I go to the most recent breakdown, and this will only take a couple of minutes, let's remember that 93.6% of the return that you get in a portfolio comes from the asset allocation, how you allocate it into different sectors, private equity uh, being one, venture being one, alternative investments, fixed income, cash, stocks. That's the asset categories. And 93% of your return comes from that. So you need to focus a lot of attention on that. Remember also that security selection is not that meaningful, nor is market timing. So give me a second and let me pull up what things look like right now. So we received uh, something in the mail that listed the top 30 endowments. And here are the numbers. Kristen did a really, really good job with this. Harvard, Princeton, Yale, and you can see the categories. We have global developed markets, emerging markets, public equities are stocks private equity, venture capital, we merge them together. Hedge funds are, are very complicated, but very necessary um, allocation in most investment portfolios. Fixed income, we, we combined US and international together. Uh, real estate, excuse me, uh, uh, real assets and natural resources. Real assets are your commodities. It could be silver and gold, it could be collectibles. I mean, there's some really interesting investments people do. But here's the key takeaway. The way they invest money today with technology uh, changing over the last few years, most individuals can replicate what these endowments have done. And here is a summary of what they look like. So remember, even though these are large endowments and they have billions and billions of dollars, you too can invest very similarly. And the question is, are you? Because these are the best minds on Wall Street. These are thought of as, hey, follow what they're doing and you're gonna do really well. So uh, not just in terms of return, but in terms of risk mitigation. Public equities, only 22% of the portfolios have 22% uh, are allocated in public equities, public stock. 1% emerging markets. Now we have global developed market equities is 9%. So that uh, we're throwing global and international together. And global, by the way, anytime you see that, that just includes the US and international together. 3% in cash, 3% in real estate, 6% in real assets and natural resources. One uh, that isn't known very well is timber. Timber is a huge uh, allocation for a couple in the South, especially in Georgia, and uh, the returns are excellent. Fixed income, only 8%, and then you're looking at 26% in hedge funds and 22% in private equity and venture capital. I'm not saying that you should run out and do this. I just want you to see how exactly the best minds on Wall Street are allocating their monies. If you want the backup information that we put together, just reach out to our office and we'll send it to you. But I wanted you to see this because we're at a very strange time right now in the markets. And it's important for you to diversify and maybe do it like the best minds do it. Thanks.